Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Outlaw gangs in the Old West. Let's check it out. They lynched him from a telegraph pole before they hanged the other guys. So lovely yeah. way to die. Isn't that horrible? Yeah. Over the past few years, I've been on a few podcasts. My first was on the Well That Aged Well podcast, and Erland, the host, asked me to be on again for his 100th episode. We were both interested in investigating the outlaw gangs and what they were like, where they ended up, that sort of thing. I've gathered a lot of interest on this subject thanks to the popular video game Red Dead Redemption 2, where the main character is a part of a gang, which is portrayed as a transient community of felonious miscreants. He got a little pretty mouth, thing. It should be known that many of the gangs in the Old West eventually broke up either from getting captured or killed. There were about 50 starting around the California Gold Rush until the settling of the West. Some, like the Kinney and Jesse Evans gangs, petered out and dispersed, sending their members into the wind. Of these malfeasance, some went to other gangs, and some decided to leave the Al Hoot Trail and live respectable lives. Can't you see, it's gotta be one way or the other. For instance, Jesse Evans and Pony Deal, two-time gang members and gunmen of notability, disappeared from history. Some historians chalk them up to dying of lead poisoning, but we simply don't know. The ones that had the most success were led by cunning folks like Jesse James or Butch Cassidy. Butch and Sundance did their work and thought out the robbery, the escape route, and even set up relay points with fresh horses. Things were getting a little hot for them, so they broke up. Most of the gang members were either captured or killed later on. In Jesse's case, one failed bank robbery led to their eventual end. The Dalton gang started out pretty successful but then made their fateful decision to rob two banks in a town they would be recognized in 1892. Bert Alvord's gang misjudged the law as well. Bill Doolin's gang, nicknamed the Okla Hombres, cut a large swath in the Indian Territory. At the Battle of Ingalls in 1893, they killed three lawmen. Eventually, all but a couple died in gun battles. So, maybe it takes a healthy dose of paranoia and a plan C, just in case. If you got a plan B, I'll kill that too. Life for outlaws on the run was rough. Hiding out in barns, taking on assumed names and hoping they wouldn't be recognized puts an eventual strain on a person. Hollywood uses the term cold camp, meaning you don't light a fire and announce your location to the world. More often than not, I think these folks were just not sleeping or eating very much. If you see photos of deceased outlaws who were chased down over the span of days or even weeks, You'll notice that they're filthy and look like hobos. A hobo with a shotgun. If they had a little forethought, then setting up confidants where they could resupply would be a good move. Separating and meeting up later on would work too. Traveling with a wagon or even a pack horse was risky if a posse was after you, so having supplies stashed in saddlebags would be a smart move. Stories of buried loot are evident in every state. Outlaws on the run who had to stash their, uh, stash. Say the word, the word mustache. All a stash, all a stash. No, money. Anyway, a heavy haul would slow everyone down, so burying it or hiding it was practiced. Unfortunately, some miscreants were run to ground or shot and never got a chance to go back and retrieve it. And voila. Get out your metal detectors and join the hunt to find a cache of stolen coins. The brotherhood and camaraderie in a gang was akin to a company of soldiers during wartime. That doesn't mean you fully trust them, however. In 1882, Robert Ford, a gang member of Jesse James, shot him in the back of the head to collect a reward. This brings credence to the proverb, no honor among thieves. Well folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail.